Welcome back, everyone. As you may have noticed, there's no shortage of street graffiti these days, but not all of it is tagging. Our Layla Mohammeds discovered a gallery that's inviting artists such as Crash and Lady Pink to hang their pieces with pride. Hey, Layla. Hey, Jess, and you mentioned Crash and Lady Pink, and we're looking right here at a piece by Crash. This is from the 80s. It's hanging here on display in the new gallery space of Beyond the Streets. And I'm here now with the founder of Beyond the Streets, Roger Gassman. It's so good to see you. Hello, thank you for coming to Beyond the Streets. Okay, so when we're looking at this piece, too, for example, here by Crash, uh, what is this showing us? This is a painting from Crash, a graffiti legend who came off the subways in the 1970s in New York and was one of the earlier artists to go into the gallery scene. And this is a vintage piece of his from the 1980s that he pulled out of his collection for us to show in our inaugural show here, Beyond the Streets, Post Graffiti. Okay, so here in LA, why did you want to have a, a home base, a brick and mortar for Beyond the Streets here in LA? Beyond the Streets has continued to grow. We've continued to work with so many incredible artists, so many of them in Los Angeles. And we just need a home base. We're launching global shows and the culture is continuing to grow. We want to continue doing educational programming, gallery programming, and just have fun and bring it to the people. When you started this back in 2018, you know, taking the shows to the people, you, you started here in LA in a warehouse space, went on to New York. What was the initial reaction of it? And what gave you the, the, the motivation to keep going and say, we're on to something? The reaction was fantastic. Uh, we were seeing families, we were seeing old people, young people, everyone. And just the education through entertainment has always been just such an important piece for us. And to be able to continue to push that, it was important. Okay, before we get deeper into this inaugural exhibition, let's talk about this piece here, because I love to see some things that are cool and interactive, and that's one thing you all are known for. So so tell me what this is right here. This is the artist Felipe Pantone. Uh, he lives in Valencia, Spain. He's known for his op art and his manipulable pieces. Uh, come in, check it out, but please don't touch it. Ask one of us to move it. <laughs> right, so you see I'm not touching it. I'm, I'm amongst the people who should not. No, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it right now. Uh, talk about this inaugural exhibition and, and sort of what you want it to uh, convey about street art and graffiti. We wanted to really support our roots, support so many of the artists that have helped us get where we are and show an incredible group of artists from the 70s to artists from five, 10 years ago that are really making noise and doing different things and have gone on to have very incredible, illustrious studio careers, gallery careers, museum careers, and put together a 20 or so of our favorites. I like this behind you, so tell me about this piece. This is actually one of the ones that really stands out to you, right? This is a very important piece for the show. It's a collaboration painting between Futura 2000 from New York City and Kenny Scharf. They've been friends for over 40 years. They had a solo show, they had a two person show together 40 years ago that just ended to this date. Uh, and this is the first time they've ever actually collaborated on a painting. And this is it. And we're so, so pleased to have it. You know, 40 plus years of friendship. Futura did the incredible abstract shapes and Kenny Sharp came in and painted the green and fun, fun faces. And their signature, uh, you know, the Kenny Sharp face is put into the Futura signature. This is definitely a showcase painting in the space today. I love that one right there. It really caught my attention walking in here. Talk about how you sort of took street art from something that people, you know, let's be honest, people frowned upon. It was something that you just, didn't do tagging trains, tagging buildings, you know, putting your art on public places. How did you bring that into a space that now people can come into a gallery and really appreciate it? It was always important for us to respect the history, show the ephemeral pieces, show where the culture had come, but so many of the artists have taken that energy from the streets and be able to been able to transform it into incredible installations, paintings, and everything else. And that's what we wanted to showcase, not just the work that was done on the streets, because you can almost never harness that illegal energy of what was happening, but you can learn from it. This is a store area right here. You can come in here and buy uh, stuff in here, which is really cool. I like the vintage spray paint, uh, spray paint cans right here. You got your start with that, right? In the 90s. This is what inspired you. Yes, I have a huge collection of vintage spray paint cans that I've been collecting since the early 90s. I've been collecting so much graffiti ephemera as I think it tells the story so much. 
it really helps along with the photos, the paintings, and classic cans, colors they don't make anymore, brands that don't exist anymore. It's just really incredible and fun to look at. Okay, I want to get over here to Aurora because she's the director here at Beyond the Streets. And you have something really cool coming up to showcase up and coming artists. Yes, October 15th, we have our very first community driven print bazaar event uh, curated by Ozzy Horaz, who's one of the artists in the post graffiti exhibition. Uh, admission is completely free for the public, and we're going to be featuring 30 plus artists vendors and makers um, welcoming them into our space. And why was that important for you to do that here with, with this new uh, gallery space? We definitely wanted to incorporate the community into our gallery space. It's a very artist-driven space, and um, we thought it was very important to bring them in and uh, support them as well. Do you got to have a little bit of talent to do that? Or, like, can I come in here and do my little stick figures with some paint? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Please. We'll put it up on the walls. She's just telling me that. Thank you, Aurora. She's just telling me that. But, you know, it's really inspiring, Roger, to come in here and, and see all of the, the works and to... Uh, it's just so pretty. It, it's so vibrant. And and I hope people can really appreciate that. This is a, that has a perfect at home here. Absolutely. We're excited about our permanent home and every eight weeks there's going to be new shows. During the run of the shows we're going to be having all kinds of different events and there's going to be a lot to see new artist stories and new history. Awesome. Roger, thank you so much. And you're taking this on the road too again by the way. They're going to be, uh, we're at Shanghai and you got some other places coming we're up. We're going with... to Europe, we're going to Asia, <laughs> we're going all over next year. Awesome. Jess, you know what, I think the kids would really like to come here and just see all the cool art. Oh, absolutely. And you and I need to collab on a stick person painting. We can, we got that down. We should. Yeah. We should, we should name our stick person painting. Jess okay. and Leigh. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm totally down. I'll do it. And they just will never showcase it. So let's put it in the corner. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Layla.